Hi, I'm Dave Crane and you're watching Turbocharge Your Brand TV. I just want to share with you another Magic Merlin moment. They make the very coolest gadgets on the planet. You can get them for a budget rate online or in one of their stores. I want to share with you this thing. It's a swim MP3 player. Now, why would you need an MP3 player when you're swimming? Well, if you're doing long lens or you like to hang around the pool but you're worried about the headphones or your phone getting ruined, no more. This is guaranteed up to a meter of water. It's got up to 8 GBs worth of music, that's about 2,000 songs, and it's so easy to fit and so easy to control. Just like that. So whenever you're traveling or whenever you're going swimming or even chilling out in the rain, this is hardy, it's waterproof, and it's perfect just for you. Check this out and more wonderful gadgets online at MerlinDigital.com. Meanwhile, stick around and enjoy the show. Turbocharge your brand TV. Hi, welcome back to Turbocharge Your Brand TV. I'm Dave Crane and this week's episode we'll be discovering how you can make a social media empire with the expert Lasse Rahanen. We'll be discovering how you can save your way to being a multi-millionaire and finding out what makes Tom Cruise, well, Tom Cruise. All that and more on this show. Turbo Charge Your Brand TV. time for episode 6 of Millionaire Mindset from the book by Thomas Stanley. Looking at what millionaires do that makes them super successful that most people don't do. And this is a real shocker. Millionaires run economically structured households. What does that mean? Well literally they save money. They don't buy new. Now this is a real shocker because middle class people like to buy the latest iPhone, like to buy the latest gadget, latest car, latest clothing, latest blah blah blah. All the designer stuff you can look at but that's what gets them into debt because their credit cards can't sustain their spending habits. Multi-millionaires don't do that. They have an economically sound household so they won't buy brand new stuff. What we'll do is look for the best bargains on the market so they won't buy a brand new car off the shelf, well, off the forecourt, what we'll do is we'll wait and get the same car second hand so it's maybe six months old. Of course, when you buy a new car, you instantly lose about 20 to 30 percent of its worth when you drive it off the forecourt. But if you buy a second hand, that price drops down and it looks new to everybody else. The same is true for designer clothing. They don't buy brand new off the peg. What we'll do is go along to see the sales for designer clothing where the prices drop down quite a lot. And they do this in a number of different ways. Whenever it comes to buying, they don't buy new, they buy economically sound. And now it's time for our big interview with Lasse Rohanen, who's a social media guru. Have you ever considered how much new media is taking over, but most people haven't got a clue what to do about it? Well, Lasse has created a system and he's got a number of people working as managers all around the world of other people's social media campaigns. And it's very easy. Once you know exactly how to create it, then you can go on to reproduce the same thing for other clients anywhere. And you can also use it to dominate your region. Imagine if every plumber, every lawyer, every dentist, every plastic surgeon wanted to come to you to market their business. Could that make money? Well, exactly. Let's find out more about how to do it with Lasse Rahanen on Turbocharge Your Brand TV. It's not a secret, it's just a kind of like identify what you want to get, who is your target market, and then you want to start thinking how you will start applying. So start thinking, for example, how you, what is your content strategy, what is your engagement strategy because you have to you know uh, talk with these folks and be interactive and then what is your promotional strategy so kind of like three different strategies you put together and you start implementing and it's many times it's kind of like testing and uh, testing different things and seeing what works 
but also as nowadays it's easy because you can you have so many things that already work. I mean, you have so many companies who are already using social media. For example, Zappos in, in the US are already doing great work in Facebook or Twitter, so you can check what they are doing, or Domino's Pizza or whatever. So go and check who in your industry, if somebody is already using social media, and you pick a few ideas and you modify them to your, your case, your company. Now we've already talked there about ways that you can make money through creating strategies for individual businesses. For people who want to improve their own personal worth, their branding online and in the community, what strategies would you say they should use for projecting themselves out and, and becoming celebrities? Using social media, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, I think it's like, you know, like you are doing, uh, content, content, content. So it's kind of like really important just to uh, publish content and always try to think what's interesting for your target market and many times it's not easy to do most times we make it too confusing or we make it too difficult myself included so for example when I started with video marketing I was doing videos called titled like uh, YouTube marketing strategies but it was 2007 and nobody knew that there's even a thing called YouTube marketing so when I changed and I did really simple thing called how to upload your video to YouTube, all of a sudden I got a lot of views. So it was kind of like making it really simple, giving you most stupidly easy uh, things and sharing how to do them as a tutorial. That's one great strategy. Many people who start, many companies who start, they don't understand this tutorial strategy and they try to tell the most advanced thing. But most of your clients and customers, they want to know uh, just simple things. For example, a company can say how to order online, or if you are building your own brand, you can talk about your your topic, whatever your topic is. You share a few tips in each video, and that's that way you build value over the time. And now, until we charge your brand TV, it's time to ask Dave. And Janelle Fielding asked me a very simple question, Dave. How do I get a life? <laughs> well, how do you start answering that? First question, Janelle, is what do you want? When you say, how do I get a life, does that mean that you've got doing the job that you want? You're in the wrong career? Does it mean that you've, ru you've ruined a relationship? Are you single? What does it mean? Because the thing is, everybody else is completely different. You don't want anybody else's life. What you want is your life. If you were to look at all the big celebrities, whether you want to choose Angelina Jolie, Brad Pitt, or even Tom Cruise from this show, any of the celebrities have got pluses and minuses in every single thing they do. Being famous is great, but not if you don't make any money. Making money is great, but it isn't if you can't spend it. Being recognized everywhere is fantastic. Doors will open for you. Problem is, everywhere you walk, you will be seen. So the only time that it's private is behind closed doors, which means you don't go out of the house. There's always a balance in it. So the question is, what do you want? Do yourself a bucket list. Write down a hundred things that you really want out of your life. I mean it. Sit down and write a hundred things. If you can't fill it in in one go, then make sure you do it in 24 hours. Once you've got this bucket list of a hundred things, relationships, family, money, house, country you want to live in, all those different things, once you've got them all written down, your next stage is to reduce them down to ten things. Then once you've got those ten, reduce them down to three. And of those three, choose one. That's the first thing you start with. Whatever it is, that's the first thing that you should be concentrating on. Because if you do lots of other things at the same time, you can't do them all at once. You need to pull focus, otherwise it would be like spinning lots of different plates. You'll never get them all finished, and you'll always feel a bit of a failure. So, once you start to consider what it is that you want in your life, also consider all the things that you don't want in your life. How much of your life is controlled by other people? Your friends, your family, your upbringing, your culture, your spiritual group. There could be a whole lot of factors involved in making you feel that you're not doing it right. This is your life. You get one of them, so start by getting rid of all the things you don't want as well until you have a list of what makes you happy. And then, Google. Go into Google and ask the question about whatever your thing is. How do I meet the perfect partner? How do I get more money? Who should I talk to when it comes to choosing real estate or choosing a house or which is the best country to live in? Somebody somewhere has written an answer. And if you don't like reading or you're getting too many answers back, 
put it into YouTube, the world's second biggest search engine. Somebody will have done a video answering your question. So that's one thing, that's on the cheap. That will help you create a simple answer for yourself, but how do you make it stick? Simple, get a life coach, or keep watching this show. Get somebody to work with you as a mentor or a coach, and it might mean paying some money, but that's somebody who you know you can hold accountable. Do some homework, Google the person you're after, but ask friends as well. Cross-reference it through Facebook so you get a recommendation from somebody who's already used their services. And then, throw the big problem at them. Their job is they're trained to get you the results you want. And that is very simply how you get a life. I hope that answers your question. If you've got any more questions that you'd like to throw at me, or any answers that you think are better than mine, which is quite a lot, let's be honest, then all you have to do is contact me on this email address, dave at thelifedesigners.com. Once you contact me on that contact, then I'll give you the Jump and Grow Wings system. The whole motivational mindset caboodle will be all yours if I answer your question. Simple, huh? That's all you're going to do. More next week on Turbocharge Your Brand TV. Turbocharge Your Brand TV, it's time to look at one of the biggest film stars of all time. Certainly in the time that I've been going to the movies, I can't think of anybody, maybe Harrison Ford, maybe, who's had so many blockbusters during a period of time, being controversial, being slightly weird, but always being bankable. We're talking about Tom Cruise. Now you may have seen that experience where he jumps up and down on Oprah Winfrey's sofa, showing he's a little bit barking and a little bit excited about his relationship and his world. But then, he lost a lot of people. A lot of fans went, whoa, not looking with Tom Cruise. Bizarrely enough, he's still back at the top of his game. Those who meet him say he's one of the most amazing, energetic personalities you'll ever come across. There's nothing like a challenge to Tom Cruise, and he will do it. You think about it. When you watch one of his films, one of his action films, they can act in virtually anything he wants anyway. As a serious actor, he's brilliant. As an action star, he's pushing 50, and he still jumps off the world's tallest building. And it is Tom Cruise. It's not a stunt double. You can see his face. Like that. Ah! Well, that would be my face. So let's look into the mindset and the success of Tom Cruise. And Turbo Chad, your brand, TV. When I get to that place, you know, where it's just not happening, uh, I, I go for a walk, first of all, and I look around. Uh, and then uh, I just take it from the point of view of the character. I say, it ain't happening, you know. So from that, I go, well, that's interesting. And then I kind of explore that. That's not happening, you know. I feel whatever, you know. There's moments where you just go, man, it just, it's numb. I don't go, it sucks, I'm blowing it, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to blow it, I'm going to cry, you know, the scene's not going to work. I actually do the opposite, I try to get extroverted and uh, step out and think of, okay, well, I'm feeling this right now. And then I'll go, I'll actually do takes like that, I'll do a scene like that. It's the 15th hour, I'm tired, my character's tired. I, I just, I take it from that point of view of, I'm tired. Okay, well, that's interesting. Well, I never thought I, you know, of the, I, it's kind of this thing. I've never thought of it at this point of view, but I'm going to just go with it and see what happens. And then from that comes energy. From that, because you're creating it. You are, you're still creating. You're not giving up. You're not using effort to try to fulfill your preconceived idea of, you know, which we all do. We all come up with, you know, different ways of what we think the scene should be or what we, what we want. And then, uh, I don't invalidate those feelings of me being tired. I sit back and I go, okay, I'm tired. The character's tired, I'm tired, you know, or I feel empty. You know, and I'll just play the scene, I'm empty. You know, whatever the scene is, I'll just take it there for a take. And then from that, I know the worst thing that I can do is kind of vapor lock, you know, lock down on it and go, eh, you know, try to push it somewhere else. I just explore that. And then from that, it brings me to where the scene is supposed to be, or the character, or from that is the scene. And everyone kind of goes, wow, I never thought I was going to go there, because now I'm, it's not just me, I'm working with other actors, or the director. Uh, and that's, that's what I do. I have a voice as an artist.
It's just getting your own confidence. Uh, and you find it just by doing it. By doing it. And when you're playing that character, that is your character. And your instincts on the character are your instincts on that character. And we're constantly looking at life. What is it? What is it? Where are we? You know, look how interesting. Look at different cultures, different beliefs. You know, how do they come to that? How do I feel about that? How do, you know, what do I think? It's, it, it is a daily adventure. You have your voice. It's there. Just do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Create. You know, don't let anyone stop you from, from being creative. You do it. And, and that confidence will come. There's something that I just want you all to know. Because you guys are the future here. Okay? And from me to you, I just want you to know that I applaud you, your hard work, because I know what it takes, the commitment. And... You know, I just applaud you and I respect you and I love artists. I really, I, you know, I know they are the most important people in the world, you know. And there's one of my mentors and great teachers said something. It's L. Ron Hubbard. He said something and I, when it hit me, I really found it to be true that a culture is as great as its dreams. And its dreams are dreamed by artists. So, for me to you, I just, I wish you Godspeed and keep dreaming and I, I just I'm very excited for you and thank you for this time and being so close. and that's it for this week's episode I hope you enjoyed it let me know give me feedback leave comments on my website turbocharge.yourbrand.tv every time you leave a comment I know what's working and it also gets other people to understand and come along and enjoy the show too Next week's episode is going to be even more exciting where we go into the in-depth mindset of what makes you blog. Some people have no idea where to start. That's why we're going to talk to the top guy, Suraj Soda, who's going to give you all the info you need to start your perfect blog. Talking about perfect things, how do you like to have a perfect day every single day? I'm going to show you how in the next episode. And on top of that, Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga, how has she made it to the top? Why do we know that she's going to stay for as long as she wants to? I'll share everything with you in the next episode. Say it then. Turbo Charge Your Brand TV.